At AHLA, we have a long and deep commitment to diversity. We are committed to engaging with the challenges and solutions to healthcare disparities. We are guided by sharing facts and truths, and we support and foster an open forum where we all come together in a collaborative fashion. Lindsay Wiley teaches torts, health law, and public health law. Her research and work focuses on access to health care and healthy living conditions in the U.S. and globally. So in public health, a lot of the entire mindset of the profession and of the, the field and the discipline is summarized by what we call the upstream-downstream parable. And the idea is that there's a village and the villagers notice uh, bodies floating down the river and they immediately mobilize. Everyone in the village is completely dedicated around the clock to pulling bodies out of the river and trying to resuscitate people. And they save lives and they see the face of the person they've saved. But they're so focused on that immediate response to the crisis that nobody thinks to go upstream and see what's pushing the bodies into the river. And public health is that upstream perspective. Uh, but so much of what we tend to do with anything related to health is personalize it and need to put a face on it. We see that as something that's incredibly intimate and individual, right? Our health is very personal. But from a public health perspective, we're able to take a step back and see the bigger picture. See what are those structural factors, political factors, legal factors that are the social determinants of health at the population level where there are opportunities to really improve quality of life, to improve the quality of our communities, to, uh, to, to in, in, in implement cost-effective interventions, right? But you don't get that, um, that thrill of, this is the life I've saved, this person's life has been saved by my efforts, um, that you do with the rescue orientation downstream. Well, now you open a door about caring and empathy and compassion. Do we have curiosity and compassion in this country to want to address the larger issues, which may not be ours, because in your, in your parable, the people in that village were not dying. Others were. So how do you see our community? And if we are not a compassionate, caring community, what are we gonna do? The risk is that caring, responsible people can grow numb to what they're seeing others experience and can other them, right? I'm comfortable because of segregation in my community. Most of my neighbors are comfortable and safe. I can't cope with tackling, engaging with what's happening in other communities. And if I frame it that way, if I frame it as something that's happening to someone else, someone else's loved ones, another town that's not mine, there's a real danger that we continue this divide, this socioeconomic divide and racial divide, and that we don't see the ways in which our health is interconnected across those divides, and that we have to break down those divides to really move forward in a way that's gonna have benefits for everyone. Racial disparities in healthcare are an urgent issue, and AHLA is at the forefront of providing education to those involved in health law that impacts this area. Visit our website to discover more.